following is a paid program brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. The opinions expressed are solely those of the sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith, located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, now presents the Worldwide Truth of God television program with the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. This broadcast is intended to enlighten you about the Word of God for the salvation of your soul. Give careful consideration to the subject matter of this program and join us each week for the truth preached from God's Word, the Bible. All are invited to visit our headquarters church located in Philadelphia. Services are every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. and every Sunday at 11.30 a.m. and again at 6 p.m. Keep watching for upcoming days when Pastor Jennings will be in your area. Gentlemen, again, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Nostre salutation à tous nos auditeurs francophones au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Saludos a todos nuestros radio escuchas de habla hispana en el nombre de Jésus-Christo. Este es el programa radial, verdad de Dios, con el pastor Gino Jennings. Bow with us is Elder John Butler of Tallahassee, Florida, who will now lead us in prayer. Righteous Father, it's again we're thankful. We thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. Thank you, Lord, for enabling us to assemble ourselves before thee again. Lord, we thank you for how that you have blessed the radio and the telecast. That, Lord, it have reached many dying men, women, boys, and girls. We're asking you, Lord, to bless according to thine eternal will. We know, Lord God, according to your word, it's not your will that men should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We're asking you, Lord, to touch the hearts, touch the minds of the people throughout the world, knowing, Lord, that you are able to give them a repentant heart. We ask you to look upon the man of God, Lord, as he delivers the word. Lord God, strengthen it. Keep him, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, that he may cry aloud, Lord God, and spare not, and to lift up his voice, Lord God, as a trumpet, to show your people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. We thank you, Lord God, for this great assembly. Look on those that have traveled, Lord God, to hear and to get understanding. Look on those, Lord God, that are in their homes right now, that are watching this telecast. Give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that they may take heed to your word, Lord God, before it is everlasting, hallelujah, and eternally too late. We know that thou art God and you are able. We ask you, Lord, to bless right now according to your will. Lord God, we thank you for all things. We thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy that you have shown towards us. And we're asking you, Lord, to ever bless and to ever strengthen according to your will that we'll ever be mindful and that we will ever give you the honor and the glory in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ.
again, you're listening to or watching the World Art Truth of God radio and television program. It's a pre-recorded program coming to you from the International and General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. You're also watching the concluding services of our fifth National Youth Convention. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current listing of all our radio and television stations, a list of our church locations both within and outside the United States, a list of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and the Truth of God Journal, the Truth of God Journal, the third edition which is now available for five U.S. dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. For those writing in and requesting copies of this broadcast, we do always ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your correspondence. Now today's or tonight's program number is 559. Once again, a cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can be obtained at the cost of five U.S. dollars. However, for those writing in and requesting copies of the broadcast, we do always ask that you indicate the program number clearly within your correspondence. Today's or tonight's program number is 559. Again, that number is 559. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area, in person by Pastor Jennings, or questions regarding this program, or simply regarding the Bible, again, you may address all your correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. Again, if you're watching or listening for the first time, our address, 2431, 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America. Our postal zip code, 19125. <coughs> We'd all like to also like to hear from you by way of email. You can email us at truthofgod at arrows.com. Once again, send us an email, if you can, at truthofgod at arrows.com. We'd also like you to visit us on the internet. Our internet address is www.truthofgod.com. Once again, visit us on the internet, if you can, at www.truthofgod.com. We'd also like to let you know that you can also call the church at our new toll-free number. Our new toll-free number is 1-888-231-2201. Once again, the phone number should be now on your screen. You can call us toll-free, 1-888-231-2201. I'd also like to briefly say to our Spanish-speaking listeners that they can write to us <coughs> for literature. Le invitamos a que nos escriba y solicite los siguientes folletos bíblicos gratis, titulados Anocida usted de nuevo, Mujeres Predicadoras y Jesucristo es Dios Todo Poderoso. And quickly to our French-speaking listeners, the same information. Nous vous invitons à nos clair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite au français ou en anglais et titulé Êtes-vous honné, femme prédicatrice et Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant. Now, today's program, as I said before, is the concluding services of our fifth National Youth Convention. Now, today's program, or tonight's program, is a special program and will feature a discussion. Another discussion between Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith, and this time, Minister Marvin Muhammad. Minister Marvin Muhammad, I do believe, is from Mississippi. Uh, he is said to be, uh, or proclaims himself to be, the, new le the leader of the new nation of Islam. The new leader of the new nation of Islam. As always, just want to remind our viewers that all our discussions, all our religious discussions, are certainly not intended for entertainment. So for those watching at home and those that are seated here in your congregation, we do ask always that you sit <coughs> attentively and listen carefully to the discussion as it proceeds. Uh, I do believe uh, there may be a multitude of topics discussed, but nonetheless, we ask for your undivided attention. Our broadcast is intended solely to seek truth whenever a discussion is going on, and truth is for mankind and certainly for everybody watching and here attending at this time. Without any further ado, I'm going to introduce onto you our leader, teacher, guide, messenger, and ambassador of the Almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> we thank the one God for his loving kindness and his much mercy that he's shown us always. We are forever grateful for the prophets and the apostles and the divine revelation God revealed to them for our learning. We thank him 
for the greatest religion that have ever been spoken from the heavens when he commanded them to be ye holy. We can never thank God enough for truth because without it we'd be a lost and destroyed people. We thank God for manifesting his divine power and his divine presence on earth through the Messiah Christ Jesus and in him the perfect will of God was made manifest for us the human family to follow to learn and obey to you that are watching and you that are here we welcome all of you to the Muslims that are here we greet you in the Arabic language assalamu alaikum we are thankful moreover this is the third discussion that we don't had with the nation of Islam. <clears throat> we had a very good meeting last night. <laughs> and when you have dialogue, dialogue means the conversation between two people. Amen. And I want to say to Minister Rodney Muhammad, that you simply lied to me. Amen. Why teach black people to render justice one to the other? And yet you render to us injustice. That's hypocrisy. Him and I met at the Garden of Bilal's, the Sunni Muslim restaurant, and we first discussed him and I coming together to discuss scripture. And his concern, he stressed to me, he didn't want uh, anyone asking questions in the audience. I agreed to it. His concern was having someone having opening remarks before him and I so they don't put a dampen on the service. I agreed not to have nobody. We agreed to have dialogue. In fact, he even went as far of expressing his concern. He said, well, brother, the origin of God is a large subject, and we can go in a lot of areas. I said, well, let's just keep it on this one topic. Did God create himself out of triple darkness? He said, brother, I agree. That's exactly what we should do. That's why my opening was and re remarks was very brief. So he would have opening brief remarks, letting the people know his stand. Then we both occupy the stage, which will give us chance to question one another, to answer one another from the scriptures. That's dialogue. But instead, <laughs> he want to talk for an hour and a half and then leave? That's mighty cowardness of you. One thing about the nation of Islam, and like I said, we don't hate Muslims. We respect what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad done in the black community. 
for someone not to respect if they lack understanding of what was done. But what we were speaking of is beyond self-help because when you can't help yourself, God can help you. What we were speaking of is larger than any building that bear the title church or mosque. For Solomon asked, can I build God a house? He said, the heavens and the heavens of heavens can't contain him, less more the house that I build. So what we supposed to discuss was larger than any natural building. Instead, he tried to play on the minds yes, of the black people that were there so you don't consider the subject that you came to hear and want to make you think the reason for me and him being at Ben Franklin School was a result of white people? Amen. It ain't no white man taught that hell-bound lie God came from darkness unless it was for God himself. And to tell me don't ever mention Farad or Elijah Muhammad and y'all parade around trying to discredit Jesus for being the only scriptural Messiah. You don't know who you talking to. The nation of Islam poses no challenge to what I preach. God rules. We stand on God's word. And regardless of who you are, see, you made the mistake of thinking that I was a little black Uncle Tom Hanchick of Head Christian preacher. You made that mistake. Any man step in this arena? Amen. You better not bring me some book someone else written. Because I'll make you eat it up. I have no interest of no quotations from Farad or Elijah Muhammad. Give me the words of God. Like I've said last night, when it comes to the scriptures, I'm not playing with nobody. <clears throat> Absolutely nobody. Oh, yeah. Religion have played with people for years. We're about serious business. Very serious. This is a heaven to hell situation. And you religions that want to play black like little ignorant black children. And you religions that want to play white that little ignorant white children. God will push all of you into hell. Now, we have with us today from Mississippi, Minister Marvin Muhammad, the leader of what is called the New Nation of Islam. Now, I hope he don't do like Rodney. Because if he do, I personally going to pull his coat. We're going to let him have some opening remarks, about 10, 15 minutes. 
If he go beyond 10 to 15, if he go beyond 15 minutes, he will get a gentle tap on the shoulder. And then him and I will occupy up here. Right. Then we'll talk sharp. Right. One with the other. I see. That's right. It will be mighty disrespectful and indecent if he invited me to his house and I came and take up almost two hours and then walk out. That's nothing but sheer ignorance. Before we bring Brother Marvin Muhammad, we want to say to you that were there, we thank you for taking the time to come. And even though Mr. Rodney Muhammad failed to produce scripture, your act of leaving was an embarrassment to the nation of Islam. He said, I believe I'm a thorn. Keep sitting, sir. Keep sitting. Apostle Paul said, is it me? Do I now persuade God? It isn't us trying to persuade you that God is true. It is God's word that you must see that is true. Don't ever let no minister, it doesn't matter what he profess, and I know you at Mosque number 12 are watching, but see, you got a lot to think about now. Because I don't want no religion and no minister to teach me, then tell me, I don't have to answer you with scripture. We believe what is written. Amen. We strive to live by what's written. Amen. If need be, we will die standing for what's written. Amen. So to my television audience throughout America and to our radio listeners that hear this program around the world, and to you that are here, we want you to give Minister Marvin Muhammad and we thank him for taking the time out to come. Uh, we want you to give him your undivided attention. We're going to ask him to have his opening remarks at the most 15 minutes. And then him and I will get a chance to get into a good orderly dialogue one with the other for the sole purpose of the sake of truth. Brothers and sisters, Minister Marvin Muhammad. In the name of Allah, pardon me. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful, the truthful, and the most just. Salaamu Alaikum. Peace be unto you all. First, I want to uh, say that... Uh, Excuse me. I want everyone to hear what my brother saying. I want to be sure he's on. All right. All right, brother. Give him some juice. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> for me to, for me to uh, stand up and speak to you, and not, uh, 
and not acknowledge the one who raised me up would be very disrespectful and disobedient to the word of God. <coughs> For it is written, honor your father and your mother. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad raised me. I, I remember this story in the, the Bible about a man that was blind. And uh, Jesus gave the man sight. And uh, the scribes and Pharisees were angry. So they were always trying to catch Jesus in something. And so they asked the man, you know, what, who made you see? And the man told him it was Jesus. And uh, then uh, they asked him, well, what do you say about this man? Uh, is he of God or is he, you know, what is he? And the man said, whether he be son or a saint, I know not. But all I know, I was blind and now I see. So now, the point is, that I'm, I'm not going to stand up here and try to make the Honorable Elijah Muhammad the only messenger of God because the scriptures won't allow me to do that. But as a Muslim, I'm not just uh, told to believe in one of God's messengers. The foundation principles of Islam is that you must believe in all of the prophets and in all of the scriptures that they brought. And so that's what I'm, that's what I believe. Wonderful. Now, this is your house. I was invited to come here. I did not come here to break the peace of your house. As uh, my teacher said when he was asked in his sayings, what was the thing he hated the most? And he said, a peace breaker. And that is very understandable because there's no way that we can claim to be representatives of Allah, God, the one God, and then go around breaking the peace mm -hmm. when Allah is the author of peace, not of confusion. So. The only thing that I'm up here to do is to make clear One. the truth that Allah has revealed to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't come here to hurl insults back and forth with the head of your house. I did not come here to insult your intelligence by expecting you to accept something I say that's not based, it on, based in no scripture. I came here to share with you that which Allah has given to me. So at any point, uh, I, I want to say concerning what was done uh, in the way of uh, what, the, what your pastor was just complaining about. Now, the Holy Quran says that Allah hates the public utterance of, hurt, of hurtful speech, except by one who has been wronged. It, it would be wrong if I stood here and you gave me your ear and then I turn around and walk out when it's your turn to get my ear. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm not going to. One of the only reasons that I decided to come was because uh, well, generally I go where I'm invited. But like with all things, when we eat physical food, you pull my coat now if I go too far. I, I'm not saying that to be funny, but you know, I, I know I can be long-winded sometimes. When we eat, we eat, but we, our food just lays in our stomach yes, sir. at the immediate time that we ate. It is later on digested. And, and, and either it, it adds to our health or it will make us sick. But either way, it's not 
taken in immediately except for temporary purposes. It is digested later. Likewise, when I talk to people, uh, there's a spiritual truth too. I may listen to what you say now, but I'm not going to digest it until later. And where I will accept an invitation because I don't recall Jesus or any messenger of God ever, whenever he was invited to go anywhere, he accepted their invitation. Even his disciples asked him about going to Matthew's house. What, well, what you going over there? He tax collecting and stuff. And Jesus told them, this is your brother who was dead. And if we, if any of us who say we love God, and whether you say you love God through Prophet Muhammad, whether you say you love God through the teachings of Jesus, whether you say you love God through the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, if, if you hate your brother, you don't love God. That's right. Because that's the scripture. Yes, sir. So, it is... It has been long enough for us to hurl stones at one another. My teacher said, if the truth would upset the peace worse than a lie, then you remain silent. You, and cause innocent people to be hurt. Just be quiet. There's a time and a season for all things, mm -hmm. even telling the truth. So I'm, uh, I'm just tired of seeing us divided. And if God's word is one, and it is, his word is one. If Prophet Muhammad and Jesus were sitting here together, they would not be enemies. They would be brethren. If Moses, it's like Jesus told the people who claim they love Moses. He said, had you believed Moses, you would have believed me. For he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? So all of the prophets brought pieces of the messages that are in this book. They brought, brought portions of it. And so, the, 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 as, as Paul, I think, Paul, correct me if I'm wrong. Paul said, and now we uh, prophesy in part. Well, what do it mean in part? They brought parts of the scriptures here. Each one, you can go in here and find the part that Paul brought. You can find the part that Jesus brought. You can find the part that Isaiah brought. You can find David and Solomon's part. You can find Muhammad's part. Here it is, right here. So, I'm not here to bring any new parts because the, one of the scriptures up here that I have says that Allah completed it. So there are no more prophets to come. And so, you know, we're going to talk to one another. And let me say this. I may disagree with what you say the scripture is talking about. But if you quote the scripture and you're talking to me from the scripture, I'm going to shut my mouth and listen to what you're saying. Regardless to what you got out of it. How many times have you been speaking to a person and, and somebody came back and said, well, you know, he said, or she said, such and so. And you said, I didn't say that. You said, yes, you did. You said, so and so. Well, that ain't what I meant. I didn't mean what you got out of that. So the thing that I'm telling you is that I'm not going to come to you with no new scriptures. But I am going to come to you today with some new understanding of what uh, you've already understood from the book. So if it's the understanding that Allah has given me of that, then now that is what I will die for. That is what I will live for. Now, I'm not telling you that you have to do that. Because salvation is a gift. And if you know anything about a gift, when you offer it, don't nobody have to take it. Is that right? Yes, sir. So the scripture says, Behold, I stand. It didn't say I come there and break it down. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see, I stand there and knock. That's right. And if any man will hear, I will come in and sup with him. So, you know, there ain't no compulsion in religion. That's what the 
That's what Prophet Muhammad said. That's saying the same thing. Nobody is going to force nobody to accept the truth. You can't, whether you want to or not. That's true. Yes, that's true. So I, got to, I ain't got to get mad with you. And you ain't got to get mad with me. That's right. But if I came here, I do have to hear you. And that means you got to hear me too. Yes, sir. Come on up here, bro. <laughs> to say I'm very thankful for those wonderful remarks by Minister Marvin Muhammad. We thank God for him taking the time uh, to come all the way from Mississippi. You that accompany him, we're glad for you that are here. Make yourselves at home. Um, uh, we done already discussed, I mean, with what's well, supposed to have the discussion last night about God coming out of triple darkness, but we, we can go on to uh, other matters. But one thing that I would uh, Perhaps maybe you can give some of the folks that are watching and some that are here a little background of yourself. When did you come into the nation? Oh, I came in in uh, 1973. 1973. Yes, I believe sir. That was, uh, what, two years before the, the messenger passed? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, is one subject that has been of great controversy for quite a number of years, and that is the teaching of the white man being the devil. And I believe it ought to be a very good, interesting subject <laughs> to discuss today. And the reason why I say that, because in reading so much material written by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Supreme Wisdom, the Message to the Black Man, one quote in the book, The Message to the Black Man, there's a white man cannot be a Muslim because he's white and by nature he is evil. Now, uh, tell me, brother, your scriptural views about white brothers and sisters, and is it possible for them to be in the nation of Islam? As far as, uh, this, is what, this is what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said concerning white people being Muslims. He said, by faith, they can be Muslims. He said, but by nature, they are not. If, and the greatest, the greatest proof of that is that all of the scriptures that we have, we got from them, from white people. Uh, the Bible, it came to us through their hands. The Holy Quran came to us through their hands. Now, understand something. I'm not saying that they are the author of these books. I mean, I got medicine at my house, uh, but it, I'm not the one that, that produced the medicine. I got it some in my medicine cabinet. I'm sure you do too. But the medicine didn't come from me. It came from a higher intelligence in that area than me. So, I know that a fish swims in water and he don't have to be taught how but a, but me and you who are not fish we have to be taught how to swim if Caucasian people were Muslim by nature they would not have had to be taught righteousness they would not have had to be taught it's just like you and I we take things for granted when when I was a child I used to say things like like I'd be playing with something and, and I'd let my little friend play with it. And uh, then he wouldn't do me like that. He might would miss it. wouldn't let me play with his. And I'd say, well, I'd go tell my mother, tell my daddy. You, you, he, I'd let him play with mine and he won't let me play with his. And I expected them to make him do right. Because that was nature in me like in all of our little children. Nature tells them to do unto others as you'd have others do unto you. That's what I'm saying. Now, I, I, I didn't, I, when I say you don't have to be taught righteousness, that's what I meant. I don't mean that you don't have to be taught the precepts of God. If we didn't have to be taught it, God wouldn't have sent it. But, but I'm saying that there's certain things that, that if you look at history, and we'll get into the depths of scripture on it, but if you look at the history of a person, 
the works of a man tell you what he is. If you enslave me, if you, you lynch me and rape my grandmother and, and cut babies out of my grandfather, I mean out of my grandmother and castrate my grandfather, put his, tie him between two horses and put tar on him and set him on fire and then beat the horses and make them pull his body apart and make my grandmother stand there while she's pregnant and watch you do that. There's no way you're going to tell me you have a conscience. Let me ask you something, brother, before we even get into the scriptures. In the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in reference to white people. Yes, sir. His teaching was all white people were devils. Yes, sir. Now. By nature. And that's indicting a whole race. By nature. Mm -hmm. Is a black man of the devil by nature? No, not by nature. But it's like, it's like the messenger said, if a, if a Caucasian can be a Muslim by faith, mm -hmm. by believing in the word of God and acting on it, who, we can't tell nobody you can't be righteous. Only a fool would say that. Mm -hmm. But by nature, he's not righteous. But he can practice righteousness. By nature, you are not evil. But we practice evil. Oh, wait a minute, that's a contradiction. No, brother. you asked me about the black man. I was just answering your question. So are you saying that a, a person is, a black man is born righteous by nature? With a righteous nature? Yes, sir. But how can he be born with a righteous nature and when he's born, he's not of God. He's not even, he don't even have the knowledge of God nor the knowledge of himself. And the nature that he has is a sinful nature. That's what we need to be discussing. All right. From the scripture. Then we can get into that. And also, further, in the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, the white man supposed to came into existence from a brown germ extracted from the black man, yes, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. And the white man supposed to have been created by the scientist Yakub. Yes, sir. Made. 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 So God didn't make him. The scientist made him. Well, that's what, that's what the messenger was saying. That Yaqub was God. Hmm. Now, now we got to go to work. <laughs> now, so, may I say something? Sure, go ahead, brother. Um, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad didn't just throw words out. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad defined what he meant by what he said. He said that God means the possessor of power and force. And when uh, he also taught us that knowledge is power, that's one of the reasons why the scripture referred to us as gods. Mm -hmm. It's because every person has some knowledge. Then every person is God. So, but, go ahead, brother. Uh, go ahead. The, 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 the master of all creation, the God of the heavens that created the heavens and the earth, he's the originator of the black man. He created the black man. He's the best knower. Yes, sir. And when you say created the black man, then if you understand what you're saying, that is correct. But if you don't understand what you're saying, then you are, you are making God a formless spirit. And this, this uh, is not uh, what the scripture is saying. It no. says that there was no God formed before me. Mm -hmm. That's what the scripture says. You see, and there was no God formed before the first man. For the scripture says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And what are you saying, what was with and, God? And, and the scripture is, is telling you, it's just like if I said in the beginning was this temple. Mm -hmm. And, the, and the, the temple was with uh, um, uh, Apostle Jennings. Well, you know, they, they came together. There was no word formed until it was in someone's mouth. There was thought, but there was no words because we know that words is made by sound. All right. And sound is caused by objects passing through atmosphere with moisture in it. See, now you're getting back into the nature of God and we can pick it up later. Oh, yes, sir. The scientist Yakub, he was God? He was a God, yes. He was a God. Yes, and he was the best knower at that time. So the God that created the moon and the stars and the heavens, he didn't create white man? Yes. Yakub was the God that Understand created... Understand now. No, I'm asking you a okay. question. That's what I'm, that's Are what you I'm saying you. that 
the man who named who was called Yakub, this scientist. He was the same God that created the moon and the stars and the heavens that we see? Yes. Where is that at in the scriptures? No, well, I'm, I'm, I'm about to show you okay. in the, uh, what, what was being said, you just misunderstood. Okay. I you guess see, I, Jesus... Yes, make me understand. Jesus, when Jesus was here, Jesus was God's representative and the only representative at that time. And, if, and, 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 and this was not no different mind that from the original originator of the heavens and the earth <clears throat> that was the same God speaking through Jesus the vessel changes the mind continues that's all I'm saying and that's all the messenger was saying is you believe in the Quran yes you a devout Muslim yes Yaqub is in the Quran yes sir but under another name the, show well, us uh, in the second wait a chapter minute, before you get into it show us in the Quran or the Bible where it teaches God took a brown germ from a black man and created white people it says we created man from sperm mixed with ovum um, find that for me brother Oni or brother James the brown germ is in sperm. That's, that, and and when, when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said brown germ, he was not speaking of, a, 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 you know, sperm is not brown. Sperm is, 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 is colorless. It is white. But the, that's what white is. It's the absence of color. So God didn't make all colors? Just, just a moment. Wait, brother. I'm, 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 not, I'm not finished. Now, the... The, the brown germ was talking about, there are two people in the black man. There's, a, there's the black and there is brown. Now the black, you cannot get the white out of that black. It will just keep reproducing the black. But the brown, you can get a yellow people and a white people out of that germ, just like the white mouse. You notice you never saw a white mouse in your house. But you have seen a white mouse in a laboratory. Now, where did the white mouse come from? He came from the gray mouse. What? Chapter 22, verse 5. See, now this is one of the reasons why I came here to Pastor Jennings. Now, this is the Pastor Jennings that I saw on that tape. You cannot get angry with a man for asking you to show him what you say. You know, and he's given, he, he gave, I saw him give everybody the opportunity. To, they could have taken him to this if they had known it was in there. I mean, if a man asks you a question about what you teach, and you know what the messenger said? He said, brother, if I can't question you about what you're teaching, I'm afraid you're trying to stop me from learning what you're teaching. So I'm not angry with you, brother, for asking me questions. Oh, I hope not, brother. And I'm not angry with you for questioning what the messenger said. For after all, the messenger was a man. All of the prophets were men. And in that sense, they were no better than anybody else. The only thing that makes a messenger of God better than us is that the knowledge that he has came from the supreme mind of the universe. Now, that's what makes him worthy of honor. And as it's written that you must submit to the higher powers. Now, what, what verse is that? Verse 5. O people, if you are in doubt about the resurrection, then surely we created you from dust, then from a small life germ. You see? Now that, now what kind of life germ? That's what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, he finished the equation. That's all. Oh, he didn't he, change nothing that this he finished scripture it. When, I, when I say finished it, Allah was guiding him through the understanding of it, brother. Now, wait a minute, brother. If he's going to say that that meant that white people was pulled out of black people, it is written. The Apostle Paul says this. Having this hope, we speak with great plainness of speech. Right. When God talked to Moses... He said, with him shall I speak 
mouth to mouth, not in dark speeches, even apparently. So, if this Yakub supposedly, as they call him, the big head scientist, created the white man, you know, you can keep looking. No, I'm gonna find this. Um, I want the scripture that says how the white man come from the black man and was created by the scientist. Okay. It says, now as I told you, it's all in your interpretation of what you're reading. There's only two just interpretations, right and wrong. If you, if you read a thing, just like when a person speaks to you, now, just because you are speaking, that does not mean that the thoughts that you had in your mind is being conveyed intact with the, to the mind of the person to whom you are speaking. For as you know yourself, you are not the supreme God, and people misunderstand you. Don't they? Well, likewise. I mean, is, is, this is God's word. This is not just a, something that some, somebody jumped off the block, as you said, from the hood. As he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. And so when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said to me, when I read message to the black man where he said Yakub was sitting down with two pieces of steel, he was a little boy, six years old, and he looked up at his uncle and he said, uncle, when I become an old man, I'm going to make a people that will rule you. Now Yakub was playing with two pieces of steel, one had magnetism in it and the other one had none. Mm -hmm. Now. I said to myself, same thing he said. I ain't read that nowhere in the scripture. And uh, then the Honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, said that his uncle looked at Yaqub and said, what will you make but something that will make mischief and shed blood in the land? Now that I read in the scripture, but it didn't say Yaqub. It simply said, and when thy Lord said to the angels, I'm going to place a ruler in the earth. They said, wilt thou place in it such as make mischief in it and shed blood? And we celebrate thy praise and extol thy holiness. He said, surely I know what you know not. Ya the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, Yaqub told his uncle when he said that, oh uncle, I know something that you don't know. So when I read that, even though it did not say Yakub, I understood that that's who it was referring to. Well, there's a problem. Because listening at you earlier, I asked you if I'm correct, was Yakub the one that made the heavens and the earth? You said it was the same one, right? I said it was the same mind. You said it was the same, no, you said it was the same no, one. I said it was the same mind. The same mind? Yes, sir. To so the same mind that was in him? Yes. And, who, and what was that mind in him? The mind of God? The mind of God. That's and, what God is. And God is spirit. God is spirit? Yes. Oh, you don't believe God is a human being? Flesh cannot be God. Oh, well, that's one difference Flesh he got from the, the nation. Flesh is the temple. Wait, wait a minute. Listen now. No, what I'm saying Whenever, is... That's, that's no, a, that's no, a no, no, no. No, you're not letting me finish. You're not understand what I'm saying. I said that's one thing different that he had from the nation. Right. No, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad always taught that. Well, Let me, I told you I would bring you something. Well, well you, you can get it, but the reason why I say that, because in mind, dealing well, you heard Rodney say it last night, God is nothing but a man. Right. Well, he said Rodney nothing was more not the one. than a man. And see, all of y'all say y'all are messengers. Now, just a moment, just a moment. We can clear that up. All right. We don't have to. Then, then we we'll get back this, to the white I brought brothers this and so we don't have to go back and forth. Yeah. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, if you are dealing with truth, you are dealing with Allah. Now that's in the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran in chapter uh, 22 and the sixth verse, it says that is because Allah, he is the truth. I agree. I okay, agree. God so, is the truth. So we, we, as Jesus said, the flesh, flesh don't make you God. Flesh and blood is not God. Flesh and, the flesh, that which is born of flesh is flesh. 
Tell me something then. Now I, that, I agree. Yeah, yes, sir. Your group, the new, the uh, new nation of Islam. Can white people be a part of it? White people can be Muslims, but we do not believe in integration. No, sir, they can't come into the nation of Islam. Not Why not? The new nation of Islam. Because, Why not? Because. But well, you emphasized it was created me, with the mind of let God. Me, let me, uh, as the Holy Quran says, that if Allah had desired, he could have made you all the same, but that you might know one another. It didn't say that you might get uh, back and forth integrating with each other. Well, there's if every, if every people start intermixing and going on with each other, soon you won't have black, you won't have yellow, you won't have brown, you won't have no. That brings us to another problem. That brings us to another problem. Then you got a mixed founder. Beg your pardon? No, sir. Farad wasn't mixed. No, no, just a moment. Just let, me, a moment. let me finish. Let me finish. Just a moment. Let me finish. It is often quoted that he was part original man. Mm -hmm. And the explanation was that one of his parents was black and one of his parents was white. Mm -hmm. Now, how can he teach the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and yet his skin, you know, was white? That's what I was telling you. It, is not, it has never been about white skin being devil or black skin being God. That's not, that's not what we was but uh, my, my, my about. point of going there is you said that you don't integrate. No. We're talking about plain and simple. If Islam is the religion of God and you quote it from the Quran, yes. Allah is truth. Yeah. That's right. And the scripture says in the Bible, hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Okay. If Islam is the religion of God, is it one, a universal religion for all people, mm -hmm. or is it just black people allowed to be in it? Well, since you put it like that, let me, let me answer you. Islam for the black man is doing that which is in accord with his nature. Islam for the white man is doing that which is in accord with his nature. Just like Islam for a bird is doing that which is in accord with the nature in which God created it. Meaning what? Islam for, I think you know what I mean. No, I want, I want everybody to understand what you mean. They, it's, under, it's, they understand. No, we're not going to assume. Do you understand them? Oh, okay. All right, let's explain. Okay. Let's explain what Islam is doing All right. for white people My, and I, for black I have people. a question that will help you understand. Where did the hog get his nature from? Hmm. Is he one of God's creatures? Then who gave him his nature? You don't know? Well then when a hog is doing his nasty thing, then is he doing according to the will of God? Yes, that's what I meant. So, if But now if I go, now if I go, and practice what a hog does mm -hmm. while I'm not a hog, then am I in accord with God's will? No. But I can't jump on the hog and say, well, if I'm nasty, if I'm nasty and he condemning me, then he got to condemn you too. Because you, no, because the hog is what he is by nature. It's just like you and me. You, you and I, if we say, as the book says, you believe there's one God? Well, you do well, but the devils also believe in trouble. Now, if the devils believe that there's one God, then, then it seemed to me that you and me, if we believe that there's one God and the devils believe it and they're faithful to it, why don't we integrate with them? But the scripture says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So was that saying resist white people? Yes. Oh, where did it say that at? Uh, let me, that let's says get it's white that. people. It's time that I show you in the book. Yeah. The white it, man it, is the devil. It's time. It's time. It's time. Turn to Revelation. You turn to it with me now. You read it too. Oh, he you? Script has it. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're going to go to Revelation, the sixth chapter. When you talk about the sixth chapter. And the eighth verse. Mm -hmm. Now, 
What did the, uh, what did the Indians used to call the white man? Pale face. Pale face? Mm-hmm. Pale face, right? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, brother. That's what the white man said. Let's get to your scripture. Come and on. I, and, I, and, and I want to say this to our, to, to our camera, camera people. I want you to understand something. I'm not in here to make fun of you. You did not make yourself. Well, let me say this. And, I don't and mean so to cut you I, off, I'm but not, let me say I, this. I didn't, I didn't even notice them standing well, there. Well, see, let me say this. My, 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 my brothers that are here on the cameras. All right. Well, I just want and you to know that believe I'm me, not here they're, to they're very you. much familiar <laughs> all with right. what you believe. Now. So I don't believe that you would offend them at all. Uh, well, that, that's, I just want you to know. I just want all of you to know. Yeah. That the Honorable Elijah Muhammad did not raise us up to be foolish and disrespectful. All right. So I, uh, I'm saying what I'm saying because of what I understand the scriptures to mean. All right. Do you understand? All right. Okay. Let's listen. Now it says, and I looked, mm -hmm. and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death. And hell followed with him. Now, I know that the scriptures don't literally mean a physical horse. So I know that the scripture is talking about, since it's talking to people, it's talking about people. Do no good to talk to people about animals. So, when the scripture says, I beheld a pale horse, I beheld a pale people. Mm. And when it says, and his rider, he that sat upon him was death. Now what did the scripture mean when it said death? In Proverbs, it says, he that wanders out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So when you don't have the proper understanding of the word of God, then in the sight of God, you are dead. Imagine. So now, go ahead, brother. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I got to explain it. It takes so a little ahead. while to go explain ahead, these things. Go ahead, brother. Okay. Now, when we were first brought to America, it wasn't something that we did for no vacation. It was, it was done to us by way of stealing us from Africa and bringing us over here, not on the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, but in the holes of the slave ship. And we were not brought over here to be uh, enlightened. We were brought over here to be taken into unenlightenment. Mm -hmm. And anytime you take a person into unenlightenment, you are taking them into death. And so who is the rider of that horse but death? That pale man is the one that came to Africa and got us from Africa and brought us over here and stripped us of all the knowledge of our God, of our religion, of our culture, of our self. All right, let me ask He put death on us. All right, let me ask you a question. <clears throat> so that means <clears throat> the white man being that old slave master, uh, you persecuting black brothers and sisters according to history, and history is best qualified to reward our research that would make his actions the acts of the devil. Well, the scripture says you know a man by his works. So if a black man do the same thing, will he also be on that pale horse? Well, brother, this is my point. If you had found, if you had found any in the history of black people, if you had found any of us doing what white people did, then this wouldn't say I beheld a pale horse. Well, hold it. It would say I beheld a black horse. Hold it. Now, the Europeans introduced slavery to America. To America. Africa have enslaved African people right. before white brothers and sisters step on American soil, and you know it. Right. Yes, you know your history, you know it. But let's get it straight. Let's African, get it straight. Hold it, just a minute now. African brothers and sisters, even Arab nations, to this day, 
still have slavery. Amen. So now, according even according to the teachings of the nation of Islam, now <laughs> the Israelites, the early Hebrews, were black people. Agree? Well, I'm, uh, according to what you're saying, go. No, according to what I listened to, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Minister Farrakhan, and others, that the Israelites that was in bondage, whom Moses delivered, were black people under the hands of the Egyptians. The, Honorable the Elijah Egyptians, Muhammad that. well, I'm just going by what uh, they often say. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said this as the ministers always quote. But let me get back to what I'm saying. Uh, the Hebrews was considered originally black people. Right. If you know your history, you will see that. Mm -hmm. Now, the Egyptians were black people. That's right. All that's Africa. That's right. Pharaoh, who helped the Egyptians, was a black man. That's right. Moses came from the regions of Africa. These events took place in a country of color. That's right. Not in Rome, Italy. That's right. Not in Spain, mm -hmm. but in a continent of color. Amen. So, Pharaoh, being a black man according to history, mm -hmm. and if the Egyptians were black people keeping the Hebrews in bondage. Right. Would that not be a black on black crime? Because we cannot teach slavery in part and call white folk devils right. for the wickedness they done to black people, but never address a black man as a devil or a wicked one mm -hmm. who afflict the same wickedness on black people. Now, yeah. Yeah. You, you Go ahead, brother. Okay. Now, uh, if you're going to quote history, let's quote it properly. You and I both know that the kind of slavery that that they call slavery here in America was not what was taking place in Africa. Mm. You and I both know that. There has never been a people suffered the things in slavery that, that we suffered in this country. Nobody, no black man, there's no documented history actually of any people ever being in bondage in Egypt. There's no documented history. That is a prophecy. And the prophecy is talking about you and me here in America. I, I figured he'd say that. <laughs> but now, like I said, Go ahead, brother. like I said, now, you know, you have your understanding of the scripture. Well, that's, that's your understanding. Okay, go ahead, brother. But don't get angry with me for having mine. No, I'm not going to get angry right. with you. Go ahead, brother. Now, if you can show me any documented history, and I brought a checkbook with me, you show me any documented history of black people doing any people like we was done in America, and I'll write you a check today for ten thousand dollars. <throat> Give me the book of Exodus. In Exodus chapter one, first we'll start at verse eight. Let's get in the book then. Let's dive into the scriptures. All right, man. <clears throat> now <clears throat> he used the term; it was prophecy. Prophecy is that which is foretold about an event to take place. Mm -hmm. So that means the event didn't take place yet if it was about to take place. But right. if you got an actual event taking place right. in scripture, then an event that come later can just imitate what have already been, but that doesn't mean it haven't happened. That's right. Are you That's listening? Right. Amen. It doesn't mean it didn't happen. That's right. A 
and just imitated what had already took place. Listen in Exodus, at the Bible. In Exodus chapter 1, we'll begin reading at verse 8. <laughs> now there arose up a new king over Egypt. There arose up. If it was prophecy, it would be there was there shall be. Right. It's going to be. That's right. See, prophecy aims at what's going to be, and the language of prophecy for an event to come is not it happened. Amen. Listen. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass. That when there falleth out any war, they join also to our enemies and fight against us and so get them up out of the land. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramesses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the, and the Egyptians made the children of no, Israel. No, no, no. The Americans. And the Egyptians. No, the Americans. And the Egyptians. I agree that the black man have not been treated with honor and respect in America. Amen. I agree with that 100%. Mm -hmm. But do not tell me right. this didn't happen in Egypt. That's right. Now, uh, let me say this. Are you saying that Moses was not a prophet? No, I'm not saying Moses was not a prophet. Well, then this is prophecy. Lord. Listen, that, that, no, that don't work. No, because let, just a moment. Let, let, let me just make a, a plan. Let, let, me, let, me, let, me finish. let me go further with that. All right, are, are, you, now, are you a prophet? No. Are you a minister? I'm the son of man. You're a minister? I'm the son of man. But you said Minister Mar Muhammad. You admit No, you said that. That's what you said on the phone. Minister yeah. means sir. Now I've told you. All right. I'm the son you of call man. yourself the son of man. Yes. If you want to call yourself the son of man, fine. The okay. bottom line, you only can be a servant. That's right. Yes. That's all minister means. Servant. That's right. That's all right. Go ahead. All right, son, man. Well, actually, minister does not mean that. Well, minister, you serve. No, Jesus minister said, means to teach. Uh, Jesus said, I didn't come to be ministered to, I come to minister. If you're teaching the people, you're serving them the no, words no, of no. God. Well, you said minister, you said minister meant to serve. That's all. And minister. that's not what minister means. That's all minister. minister if you're teaching the people, are you serving them? The word minister means to teach. Are you serving them? I'm serving God. Hmm. All right, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this. <laughs> Listen, brothers and sisters. For him to ask me, was Moses a prophet? Right. And because something is written, right. it has to be prophecy. Well, God moved on the prophets, one, to foretell events to go and to come, right. two, to actually act as a warner to the people of their time. That's right. That's right. They didn't just walk around and talk about what was going to be. They didn't do nothing. What was going to be? What was going to be? These men lived right. and act out and demonstrated the power of God in their time. That's right. Okay. God said, because God told Moses how he shall be as a God, as a God to Pharaoh. unto Pharaoh. God said to Moses, I am that I am. That's right. Moses saw the bush burning. He was a prophet, but he wasn't prophesying about a burning bush coming. Right. That's right. He witnessed it. He seen it. Right. Now, let me say, Go let, ahead, me say let me say this. Now, when, when God speaks a thing, he knows the end of the thing at the beginning of the thing. And when God reveals a thing, if you say it is prophecy, then the prophecy is in the book of God. Now the fulfillment of it, the fulfillment of it is in your history book. Now show me in somebody's history book where the people was in bondage in Egypt. This is is it. this history? This is it. No, that's prophecy. This that's, is, that's the prophecy. 
Now you show me the fulfillment of it in the history book. Now, this is history. History. If he actually thinks history is just in the school, I question you being the son of man. Amen. Well, you got a right to do that. Because we better hear. Amen. When we pick up this book, we are reading history. That's right. But what you when reading, a Muslim pick up the Quran, he's reading the history of the Prophet Muhammad. That's right. He's what? reading the history of how Muhammad lived, I his experience with Gabriel. He's reading his history. I, so how can you stand and tell me this isn't history? I don't. I didn't stand here and oh. say that. Oh. You were. <laughs> The scriptures you are, you are threefold, past, right. present, right. and future. Amen. You are not listening to me. That's what the scriptures deal with. Amen. Past, present, and future. You are not listening to me. Go ahead, brother. The, the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran, as I told you, when God speaks a thing, he knows the end of it at the beginning of it. I agree. And therefore, when he speaks about it happening, he speaks about it in the past tense because it has happened as far as he is concerned. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the fulfillment of it, the only reason you have... Is the, the, the scripture is referred to as signs. And the same way that when you drive the highway physically out on the road, you see signs on the side of the road warning you of what's up ahead. Now, the sign is not the thing that you are being warned about. The sign is the thing that is put there to let you know what's up ahead. And, beg your pardon? Go ahead, brother. Don't, don't, let, 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 don't interrupt him, brother. Let me go ahead. No, I don't, I don't teach like that. If the brother got something he wanted, whatever you have, you want to say something? You said you Okay, well, if, if in your mind you don't think that it's proper, <laughs> that's fine. You know, you have a right to that uh, view, brother. Go ahead, brother. Now, uh, like I told you before, I'm giving you the understanding that I have gotten from Allah of this. That's up to you to accept it or not. Well, something's wrong, now, brother. Now, the, Go ahead. the scripture is like for the highway of life, like the signs out there on the road is for the highways on the road and now it's up to you to read them and then when you see what you were warned about you look for it in reality for if if it does no good for us to have prophecy if we don't see the fulfillment of the prophecy what you're supposed to be looking for it to come to pass and so all i'm asking you is i know that the that the slavery was supposed to take place but until you show me another people that has served another people for 400 years in history books other than in the prophet, prophetic books, I can show you the 400 years of slavery in the American history books. Now, I'm asking you to show me in Egyptian history where they had people in slavery. We're so that's with all you. I'm asking you. Let's, let's get back to here. Is that too much to ask? Let's get back to here because if he don't want this, he don't need to go nowhere. Unless you, unless you say this is a lie. Is this true? Now, are you, are you, you honestly think that... I believe what's written. Do you honestly think that you were justified in what you just asked me? Oh, yes. Yes. I would ask any man that, including you. Okay. Well, so brother, you're not exempted, brother, you're not exempted for me if asking I did not you, believe, is this a lie? If I did not believe in these books, brother, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have brought them up here with me. Well, something's wrong. You, so now so, I'm telling you, the only thing that's wrong is that you have a different understanding of it than I do. Well, let me ask you a question. Moses never led people out of Egypt in the scriptures. That is a prophetic story. So Moses never talked to the burning bush. It never happened. The burning bush, mm. you want me to tell you my understanding of that? Oh, please do. Okay. The burning bush, if the, the, the reason that it is called a bush, it is not talking really about a bush. 
it's talking about the word of God that has, bu has been put in a bush-like form. And now that... Now you know, when you come to visit me, I'm going to show you how to treat guests. Because I don't do that. You don't do what? I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not mocking you. I'm sharing my thoughts with you. Even if you disagreed with my thoughts, why, why mock me? I don't think, I mean, is y'all mocking I mean, the brother? I don't think that is not mocking the, the brother. That is not the way. I, I don't believe that we're mocking you, brother, but see, you keep No, the thing is, when I'm explaining, when, I'm, when you are explaining to me, when you are explaining to me what you got out of a scripture, I listen. I don't grunt. I don't, I don't make faces. I just listen. No, I'm sorry if I'm because <laughs> because that that is that is just that is just the way of civilized people. Well, brother, if, forgive me if I'm making a face. No, the only no reason I'm not why, talking about you. No, but I'm talking about me. I'm talking and about the only reason why because <laughs> you you saying that you understand the scriptures, but it is written, your ear tries words as the mouth doeth meats. Right. It's also written, does our law judge any man before it hear him? But I'm listening to no, you. No, but you're not hearing me out. Okay, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. The Bible says, and they now, went I'm on. I'm telling ahead, you that the burning bush is these scriptures here that's talking to me. Now, that's it. That's it in a capsulized form. I was going to lay a foundation for it so that you could get understanding, but that is it. The, that the, the scriptures is talking to me. They are on fire and they are not consumed because the fire is a spiritual fire. Now, now let's so, go to the next. So one. Moses ain't never talked to no burning bush. I'm talking to the burning bush now. You Moses? Yes. Are you Jesus? When you say Jesus. Are you Jesus the Messiah? I'm the son of man. Are you the Messiah? I'm not the one that brought the gospel. Are you the Messiah? Yes. Are you the Messiah? I'm the Lamb of God. My Lord. In the volume of the book, I come. Lord, you Lord. are? That's me. You in some hot water now. All right. You're the Lamb of God to yes. take away the sins of the world. Yes. My Lord. Prove it. Okay. Thank you. So you're saying he's Christ. All right. That's what Amen. he's saying. He's what Christ, he's saying, right? You know? Amen. Oh, yeah. Listen. Look, look. You're saying now, you're Christ? I have not once tried to put any words in your mouth. So, you said you're the Lamb so of God, don't, brother. Don't put words in my mouth. Let me tell you who I am. All right, tell us who you don't are. You, don't you get tell busy and go to work. Am. Amen. Okay. Now, let's start off in the uh, fifth chapter of Revelation. Mm -hmm. It says, I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the, on the throne a book written within and on the back side sealed with seven seals. Now, do you want to give your understanding of that first or you want me no, to? No, because see, now you're supposed to be talking about yourself. Okay. I want you to just go ahead. All right. <laughs> the book is referring to the Bible and the Holy Quran. They are actually one book. Then it says, And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy? to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. The, when it says who is worthy, it is referring uh, to the uh, uh, word able. It's just like when you know a ship can go out on sea and float without sinking, you say it is seaworthy. Well, when it says who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. Now the seals, which are seven, are referring to the, the seven things that God hates, which keeps his the understanding of his word closed to you regardless to how much you open up these physical books and try to read them if you are too proud if you have a, 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 a heart that divides wicked imaginations turn to the, the sixth chapter of Proverbs for me and the 16th verse and read that for God hates proud people and, and so pride is a, a seal that keeps us from understanding God's word if we are too proud, self-exalted. Read it, brother. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16. These six things doeth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. 
a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, yes. and heart that devises wicked imaginations, yes. feet that be swift in running to mischief, mm -hmm. a false witness that speaketh lies, mm -hmm. and he that soweth discord among brethren. Okay, that's seven things. And as long as we are guilty of those things, then the book remains closed to us. But the scripture asked the question uh, about uh, who have prevailed. Let's read the next book. It says, and no man in heaven, that means no prophet, no one that had been sent from God, no man in heaven or the earth, neither under the earth, meaning nobody who had passed on or nobody who was present on the earth. Then it says, was able to open the book neither to look thereon. You know, in order to say that you have opened the Bible or opened the Quran, in order to say you have truly opened it, you would have had to open it and understood what you read. But if you did not understand what you read, it was the same as, as though it was closed to you, even though you had it open. So now it says, and I wept. Now these are prophets talking. This is the revelator John talking here. He said, and I wept. He cried because he couldn't understand it either. He said, I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, for behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, and have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That's you? Now, yes. You come from the and tribe of Judah? Actually, it should have been tribe of Shabbat. But oh, wait a minute. For the sake of... Wait a the sake of you come from the root of David? I am the root of David. So this is talking about you? you yes. It's all, all right. talking about me. Let's see. Give now, me Romans chapter 1. Okay. Amen. Verse Romans, 3. Romans chapter 1 and at verse 3. He also says he's the Messiah. We're going to see. Okay. Follow me. Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. I want to soak you a little. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, mm -hmm. which was made of the seed of David, mm -hmm. according to the flesh. Now, the root of David, the scripture says, Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh of the seed of David out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was? So he says he is that root and offspring of David. David. The Messiah. Right. Somebody's lying. Somebody. Now, first I told you I'm the root of David. I mm -hmm. didn't say I was the offspring of David. If you're the root of a thing, you are where that thing gets its life from. And do you spring from that thing? No. Did you, you spring from thing, Elijah Muhammad? The thing springs from you. <laughs> Listen. The root of a thing. If you know anything about, about agriculture, you know that the root of a thing is, is the, the thing that nourishes the new creation right. to life. Right. The, the crown of the root is where all of the root is made one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then from the crown comes the new creation. And the new creation. And what I'm telling you is that I am all of the prophets in one man. And the new creation that came out the ground sprung from the root. The new creation, I'm the beginning of God's new creation. You're the beginning of yes, it? Yes. You are? I'm the beginning and the ending of it. Show me, show me Marvin Muhammad in here. <laughs> I'll show you myself in here. Show me. First, I'll show you before, what I before, did. before he try to find himself. Just a, just a moment. Let's, let's, let's let not, me, don't let do let that. Let me finish, brother. No, I ain't doing that. <laughs> well, you may not be doing that to me, but I am telling you, I, I am going to do that to you. <laughs> because nobody, and it doesn't make a difference to me who you are. That's right. Is going to come in my presence. Are you mad at me now? Not at all. All right. Okay. The Bible said I'll force the right okay. words. Okay, well, I love you anyway. That's nice, and I love you too. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> uh, nobody. Nobody. Amen. Is going to come in my presence. Number one. Now you just told me to do something. Now you gonna let me do it? Yes, but I'm gonna let me finish, oh, brother. Right. I get to you. Okay. He said he's all the prophets rolled up in one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Basically, he's just like saying he's the seal. 
that's right. of the prophets. No, no, that's not what they're saying. You ask me what I mean by that. Don't you interpret right. what I say. If he's you ask Paul, me what I mean he's by Ezekiel, Jeremiah, the prophet Muhammad, mm -hmm. uh, Jesus, the Messiah, mm -hmm. all rolled up in one. Now the Christ. I'm their son. No, the Christ. I said, I'm their son. Christ was he a prophet? And you say you no. all the prophets rolled up when in you, one. When you talk right? about Christ, you're not talking about the one individual. The scripture says in Corinthians 12 and 12. Get it, brother. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 12. Yes. For yeah, as the body is one. You correct me if I do it wrong, if I read it wrong. It says, for as the body is one, mm -hmm. meaning as our bodies here, is one body, mm -hmm. and have many members, and all they being many are one body, so also is Christ. Meaning what? That means that my finger, if it could talk, now it would say, I'm Marvin Muhammad. Mm -hmm. Now if my feet could talk, my foot would say, I'm Marvin Muhammad. But actually, no one member by himself is Marvin Muhammad. The whole body is Marvin Muhammad. The whole, the, all of the prophets together are the body of Christ. And I am their head. You're the head. You're the head of the body. Yes. Bad man. Yeah. Now, let me go in. No, no, no. Let let's, me let's go stop on right there. Just stop right there. He's the head. Let's compare what he said mm -hmm. with what the Bible said. In Ephesians chapter 5 and, yes. at, and at verse 23. Mm -hmm. for you, the, you see what happened when the devil make a fool out of you? Amen. You see what the Bible said? Let no man think no higher than he ought to think, but think soberly. soberly. When you think higher than you ought to think and think you the head, Right. You the head of the body? My Lord. Listen. In Ephesians chapter 5 and at verse 23. For the husband is the head of the wife. Yes. Even as Christ is the head of the church. Was that talking about you? The prophets. Was that talking about you? The prophets are the head of all churches. Christ is and the head of the, the church. The Bible says Just, just a Christ. Moment. And I'm telling you what that means. Mean what? It means that, like for this church, you believe mostly in the teachings of the gospel of Jesus. We believe in and all the prophets of moment, Genesis to Revelation. Just a moment. I don't, I don't see a whole lot of people with holy Qurans in here. But most of you say that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Now that's what you've been saying. Referring to what? You say Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Do you I know what we're referring to? What, what are you referring to? We're talking about the spirit that was in him. Okay, right. well that's, that now, now. Yeah. Okay, then, but the spirit that was in Muhammad was the same spirit that was in Jesus. But we're not talking about just, Muhammad. Just a moment. You say you're just Christ. Yes, I didn't say I'm Christ. I said I'm their head. You're Jesus' head? I'm all of them's head. My Lord. And let me prove it. I don't, we done played All we enough. got is just another false prophet. Let's don't play with it. We ain't got nothing more. No. We ain't got nothing more. Okay, well, you know what? If you're going to call me false, Without hearing me out, but I would then have you will be an unjust to Listen me. Listen at the Bible. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 3. I will have you know. That the head. The head. Of every man. Of every man. Is Christ. Is Marvin Muhammad. Is Christ. Is Marvin. Is Christ. Is Marvin. Is Christ. You're no more Christ. Jesus preached about these false That's right. Christ. That's right. Amen. 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 Listen Amen. at the scripture. Listen at the Bible. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. And at verse 23. Verse 23. Then if any man. If any man. That include you. That's right. And if I got anybody that came with you think they're Christ, you can come up here too. Amen. Because I don't, I don't. They didn't say no, that. No. That's all right. I don't tolerate men insulting the scriptures. Amen. No. Well, you know. You know. I, won't I was told that from no I was told at all. Amen. I was told that you would hear me out. I heard you, and you done no, lied you so much until it vexed no, my sir. spirit. Yeah, that's what yeah, sir, I have not lied. You done lied so much. Amen. Didn't he ask me to prove what I said? 
Listen at the script. Didn't he ask Matthew me to prove 24. what I said? Yeah, don't, don't, don't bend that. Script. Well, then why not let me prove it? All right, Mr. Christ, just hold it then. You will get, you will get your script. <laughs> why not let me prove it? You will get a chance. Read the All scriptures. Right. Listen. Matthew chapter 24 and at verse 23. Listen at the scriptures. Then if any man. If any man. Shall say unto you. Shall say to you. Lo. Lo. Here is Christ. Here is Christ. Or there. Or, you see, the Lord knew somebody like him was coming. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> Whatsoever thing was written before time was written for you know how many men popped up on the scene Amen. before he was born. That's right. And said there was Christ. That's right. That been done for years. Amen. Listen. Then if any man shall say unto you, many man say to you, Lo, here is Christ. Here is Christ. Or there. Or there. Believe it not. What? Believe it not. We don't believe a word of you. Amen. For. For. There shall arise. There shall arise. False Christ. That's you. Okay, go ahead. Not you. And okay, false see. prophets. And false prophets. Not you. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And, and shall show great signs. And shall wonders. show, well, he's not showing anything, but go ahead. In so much. In so much. That if it were possible. If it were possible. They shall deceive. They shall deceive. The very elect. Keep reading. Keep reading, brother. Be behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. Well, this Keep is reading. considered a secret chamber. Keep reading. He'll read. I'll tell him when to read. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is considered yeah. a secret chamber. That's right. Because this is the house of God, a sacred place. That's right. And we have a Christ in here. Christ here. Amen. And the scripture says, Behold, he is in the secret chamber. He's in the secret chamber? Believe it not. Don't even believe him. Amen. What else? For as the lightning cometh out of the east and, what? and shineth even unto the west, yeah. so also shall so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now stop right there. Yeah. Didn't I tell you I'm the Son of Man? You can tell us you're Napoleon. Just a moment. Just a moment. <laughs> but didn't I tell you that I'm the son of man? Yeah, you told us that lie. Go ahead. Okay. All right. See, now, now before, first of all. You're Christ. First of all. What's the matter with you, Marvin? Yeah. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm a liar, if I am a liar, then why are you afraid to hear my lie? And then correct it. Oh, we're not. Go ahead. Go ahead now. Get busy. Now, I know that what I'm saying is hard to hard on anybody's ears. Oh, it's hard on mine. I believe it. But uh, but I that's I I cannot stand here and not tell you what I know. Go ahead, brother. So now it says this is the 15th chapter of the Holy Quran, and the first chapter of Hebrews. <laughs> I hope your television viewers are bearing with us. Amen. It isn't that often you get a chance to see Christ on television. <laughs> now, now, first thing I want to say again, I, I still want to say again, that I did not tell you that I'm Christ. I told you I'm the head of it. Now, you that's the, what I told you. You the head of Christ? I told you that I'm the head of them. Oh, what well, the Bible said, the head of Christ is God. That's right. Now, You're God now? I'm the, I'm the Lord of men. You're God Almighty? Just a moment. Let me, let me deal with this first thing. Yeah, you deal with that. Okay. Now it says, this is the uh, 28th verse mm -hmm. of the Holy mm -hmm. Quran. It says, and when thy Lord said to the angels, I'm going to create a mortal, that's a man, of sounding clay, of black mud fashioned into shape. So when I have made him complete and breathed into him of my spirit, fall down making obeisance to him. Now this man is the head of the angels. And what I'm telling you is that is a prophecy about me. And you're the head of all now, the prophets. Yes. Well, well, now in Hebrews, it says the same thing. Go ahead, brother. It says, God, who in sundry times and in di diverse, meaning different manners, spake in time past 
unto the fathers by the prophets have in these last days now the last days is talking about the Sabbath day which you are living in now it says have in these last days spoken unto us by his son whom he hath appointed heir of all things inheritor of all things and what by whom also he made the world that's you just a moment just a moment now when you inherit something someone else has to pass away all of the prophets have now passed away and I have inherited their books and because of that inheritance you see I'm not I'm not what uh, you would call the messenger of Allah but I am what the scripture refers to as the messenger of the covenant because it is the covenant of God that gave life to my mind and so I inherited that and then it says who being the brightness of his glory you know when you talk about the the brightness of his glory the the brightness of that light out there is the intensity to which it shines. You know, Don't I, do that, I'm, please. I, I'm a patient man. This the, the brightness of his glory, the word is the glory of God. Can I stop? And the minute? brightness of his glory is the understanding of it. Let me stop and you. That's a what I, Let me stop you a minute. Let's back up before you go down there. Let's get this last part. First chapter of the book of Hebrew. This is him, he said. God who has sundry times and the direst man is spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets hath in these last days spoken to us by his son this is say he's talking about him whom he hath appointed heir of all things by whom also he made the worlds you said this is you you made the worlds that's what I told you I'm the beginning of God's new creation you made this the worlds this is what's going to take place now you gonna make the worlds yes how you gonna do that the mind that Allah has put in me uh -huh. is the mind that I'm here to offer to each and every one of you and you gonna make the as worlds. it is written let this mind be in you that was also in the holy prophets in Christ and the, the mind of them cannot be in you if the understanding of what they are t what they taught is not in you. All right, all right. I'm here all right. to put it in you. Listen, all right. You, all right, this this not going nowhere. Uh, I'm going to cut it right here, all right? Brother Marvin, I'm glad you came. Right. Uh, to you that are here. Well, let me, let me greet the people so I can go. All right, go ahead and greet I the people. I thank you for taking the time to hear me, the little that you did. And I, I want each of you to know that it is written, and especially you, brother. Yeah. That it, it's written that the Son of Man came not to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it'll be forgiven them. So if at any time you change your mind and want to hear more, that just a moment, you don't burn bridges where you go. The, that, that, is, that is an evil. I did not come to you as a as a hater of you. I came to you as a lover of you. And regardless to how you feel about me now, as far as I'm concerned, I, 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 have, I have nine children. And I know that they don't understand everything. Just like when I was a child, I didn't understand everything. But you digest what I said. I know it cuts against the grain. I grew up in the church. I know it cuts against the grain and what you have sad. been come to believe. So sad. But if I, if I don't say these things, we would never uh, have any kind of beginning of a building of a bridge between us. So you go on and believe what you, what you believe. If you are at peace in what you are in, then you would be a fool to leave it. If you are not at peace in what you are in, you are a fool to remain in it. Because anything that does not bring peace to you, God is not with you to be in that so so by all means be at peace that's what I want for my people if I can't bring peace to you I don't I don't want to do anything to you so uh, like I said I love you brother. yes sir and, I, and I, that ain't gonna change all right brother so. thank you Con. <laughs> all right
11 chapter 1 Corinthians. Amen. He said he's head of all the prophets mm -hmm. and head of Jesus, head of Christ. Head of Christ. Mm. Amen. 1 Corinthians. Let us examine the Bible. Amen. Excuse me. All right. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 3. Get at verse 1. At verse 1. Be followers of me. Be followers of me. Even as I also am of Christ. The Apostle Paul said. Can I get a copy of this tape? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We'll make sure you get a copy of it, brother. Thank you. All right. Apostle Paul say, even as I am of, of Christ. Christ. Now I praise you, brethren. Uh, brother, disconnect his microphone, brother Dan. Let's, let's kind of work quick and disconnect this microphone. Pay attention. The Apostle Paul said, I praise you, brethren. That you remember me in all things. That you remember him in everything. And keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. Listen. But I would have you know. The scripture says, I will have you know. That the head of every man. The head of every man. Is Christ. Is Christ. And the head of the woman. And the head of the woman. Is the man. Is the man. And the head of Christ. And the head of Christ. Is God. Now this brother said, he's Christ's head. Amen. That's saying he's God. That's right. The one in the scriptures who's addressed as a law. Right. You are the head mm. of Christ. Of Christ. Most men I've talked to who broke off from the nation of Islam mm -hmm. either made themselves God mm -hmm. or made themselves the Messiah. That's right. Amen. Why can't we just be children That's right. of the Most High God? That's all. There is only one Messiah. That's right. Just one. That the scriptures talk about, and the scriptures have never declared the arrival of more than one. Amen. The Amen. scripture talks about Jesus, Jesus as the Messiah in the Quran and in the Bible. Mm -hmm. The nation of Islam says. Elijah Muhammad was the Messiah. Mm -hmm. Now they said Farrakhan is the second Messiah. Oh. Marvin, <laughs> will the real Messiah please stand up? Amen. Amen. They say when I speak like this, I speak harsh words. People, sincere people, mm -hmm. are victims of this type of ignorance. That's right. Sincere people are robbed out of the hard earned money Amen. out of these type of fictitious religions. Amen. Religion is the act of deception when God is not in it. That's right. We don't need no man trying to make himself God Almighty. God is God. That's it. Amen. Lord help him. So I say, well, brother, I fell as though you disrespecting when you call him a false prophet. You can feel any way you want. If a Jesus addressed Herod a fox. That's right. According to the way he acts. That's right. In any time you will denounce the scriptures, Israel. Amen. Never was in bondage, the children of Israel. My Lord. The nation have tried to make that act to just be the black man here in America. I admit, Egypt mm -hmm. and America is symbolic in character. Mm -hmm. But the world has the spirit of Egypt. That's right. The scripture teaches us the whole world lies in wickedness. Amen. Let us not just look at the wickedness that white people committed. No, no. And try to overlook the wickedness of black people. That's right. Amen. What men, what color was the men that pulled the trigger 
on one of the greatest spokesmen in the history of black people. Amen. What color was the men that shot Minister Malcolm? They wasn't white? No, they weren't. Black men. Were they devils? Hmm. Oh, they wasn't devils because they had color? My Lord. This type of foolish. That's what it is, foolish. Separatism. Amen. Racist garbage. Amen. Hmm. In the Quran, oh, I wish I had my Quran here. Hmm. I believe it's Surah 59. Mm -hmm. It says how God created all forms all colors amen see these men are not real muslims no it can't be these men are not real muslims no they are imposters amen they don't know what islam is uh. because if they knew what islam was they'd be afraid amen. to stand here and blaspheme scripture that's right that's right. You have, there's only one true Islam. Mm -hmm. So where all this other stuff come from? There's only one true God. So where all these other gods come from? That's right. Television viewers and radio listeners, oh, the God we serve mm -hmm. is the God of black people. That's right. White people. Amen. Yellow people. Mm -hmm. Red. Mm -hmm. Brown and any other color. Any other color. For a man to stay, stand here mm. and say he have the white man in him mm -hmm. and yet white man can't come in the mosque and sit with what's in him. Right. That's right. That is sheer ignorance. Ignorance. Amen. God religion mm. is one. That's right. The one God says be holy. Mm -hmm. For I am holy. What is holiness? Holiness offers the completeness of man. That's right. It is the standard and statures of God. Amen. Revealed to the prophets mm -hmm. about himself. Amen. How we as a people should live to please him. That's right. Holiness was not made up of men or scholars. That's right. No prophet started holiness. No, no. No prophet founded holiness. Amen. It has no beginning. No beginning. It has no ending. That's right. Why? Holiness is God. That's right. It is the standard of God. Amen. The thoughts of God. The laws. See all these black brothers and sisters killing and raping and murdering. Amen. Listen. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 16. What is it? For the leaders of this people. This is the problem, radio listeners and television viewers and you that are here. Mm -hmm. The leaders. Of this people. Of this people. Cause them to cause error. Cause them to error. You that are watching and you that are here. Mm -hmm. Sitting in some type of religious place. <clears throat> are victims. Many are victims. Amen. Of poor leadership. Amen. You have the Bible. Mm -hmm. Some of you have the Quran. Mm -hmm. And still being misled. That's right. Think of it. That's right. It's like a person driving a car, mm -hmm. got a map, <laughs> and still get lost. That's right. Haven't you ever experienced that? Amen. You got a map. <laughs> you got a car. Yeah. You even me got a little computer in your car that got the map outlined. That's and right. you still end up in a cornfield. Amen. Amen. This is where these false prophets mm -hmm. and deceivers lead you. Mm -hmm. They don't lead you to God. No. They lead you further and further from God. That's right. And the signs being, that's why the Bible says, they that are led by the Spirit. That's right are the sons of God. Amen. What do you mean led by the Spirit are the sons of God? God will not lead his ministers wrong. Amen. But if you lean to your own understandings, right. your self-made concepts right. of scriptural principle, that's right. You will lead the people right into hell. Amen. 
Amen. I just can't hold my peace. Amen. Amen. I see the mess last night. That's a mess. People got hyped up. Yes, they did. Over noise mm -hmm. and nothing. Amen. Amen. You see, that stuff work on weak-minded people. Right. Who can't see the importance that God is above all things. That's right. That's right. The leaders of, of this, this people cause them to error. If Islam, Amen. Nation of Islam, I want you to hear this good. Mm -hmm. If Islam is the religion of God, Amen. And yet white people mm -hmm. cannot be a partaker mm -hmm. of the nation. Amen. Your religion is a religion of deceit. That's right. Prejudice, mm -hmm. wickedness, Amen. and of hell. That's right. That's right. Amen. Of a truth. Listen at the scriptures. In Acts chapter 10 and at verse 34. The Bible says what? Then Peter opened his mouth. Peter opened his mouth. And said of a truth. Of a truth. I perceive that, I perceive God, that God is no respect of persons. no respect of person. But in every nation. Just a black nation. In every nation. Just a black nation. In every nation. Says the man says he's the head of Christ. Head of Christ. And he's over all the prophets. My Lord. When God said a man, God sent truth so everybody can hear it. That's right. That's right. Because everybody of every ethnic group, mm -hmm. you got dead, deceived, blind people Amen. in every ethnic group in the world today. That's right. Look at what they're doing today, Easter. That's right. Easter ain't got a thing to do with Christ. Amen. Your big white rabbit and chocolate bunnies and eggs. And you yes. go buy some new suit right. and new hat with your wicked Easter bonnet with the devil on top of it. That's right. That's right. Easter in the scriptures have one meaning. Passover. It's over. Amen. When did the act of Passover took place? Mm -hmm. When God had Moses mm -hmm. terrorizing Egypt. That's right. Moses terrorized Egypt by the power of God in him. And you going to tell me none of this happened? None of this happened. No, it happened. Mm. A decree was sent from God out of heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the firstborn. Firstborn of Egypt. Very Egyptian. That's right. They were commanded to get blood from an unspotted lamb and put it over the doorposts. That's right. <laughs> that when the death angel passed through, mm -hmm. it will pass over oh, yeah. them that was covered under the blood. That's right. But whosoever not under the blood of this lamb. Amen. Death yes. shall be upon the firstborn of his house. That's right. That when Passover took place. Amen. Not eggs. No. Not buying new suits. No, no. Not buying rabbits. Amen. So what did business and the religious world do? Mm -hmm. Took the Bible. Right. Integrated lies. Amen. To remove the true meaning of Easter. That's right. And make billions off the ignorant. That's right. Amen. Billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Amen. Most folk go to church twice a year, Easter and Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two guaranteed lies. Amen. Listen at the prophet Isaiah. For the leaders of this people. <coughs> the leaders of this people. Caused them to error. Do you see the error? It's error. I'm a patient man. I listen at them. Amen. It takes patience to endure ignorance. That's right. Here's a man going to come late and say he Christ. <laughs> Here's a man going to come late. Oh, yeah. 
and says he's over all the prophets. If you over all the prophets, you should have some work to speak for you. That's right. These Johnny come lately. Amen. Don't want to submit to God. They want to take the place of God. That's it. This spirit. That's right. Is a act, a reenactment That's of right. Lucifer. That's right. In the 14th chapter of the book of Isaiah. And at verse 12. Follow me. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son of the Son morning. Son of the morning. Hold it. Amen. Spell son. S-O-N. Son of the morning. Mm -hmm. To have a son, you got to have a father. What you mean, a, a creator? Creator, that's right. The Bible said, should we not rather be subject to the father of spirits and live? Yeah. God said, I create good and I create evil. That's right. To what? Mm -hmm. So man and woman can have a choice whom you shall serve. Amen. It is God's divine purpose for you to serve him, mm -hmm. but he don't force you to serve him. That's right. Son of the morning. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see morning, Morning represents the ending of a day and the beginning of a day. That's right. Because when morning arrives, it starts off with darkness. darkness. That's right. But yet, it is morning. Mm -hmm. And then gradually, when it's moved from early in the morning, mm -hmm. the moonlight disappears. That's right. And the sunlight begin to shine amen <clears throat> satan is called son of the morning son of the morning because when adam disobeyed god mm -hmm. and bit of the fruit mm -hmm. a new nature amen. arose in the man amen because remember before his eyes came open him and eve were naked naked mm -hmm. now you ain't walking around no woman today naked <laughs> And ain't checking her out. No, no way. Why? Morning arrived already. That's right. But before Adam's eyes came open, mm -hmm. the nakedness was equal to being clothed. Amen. But when his eyes came open, it mm -hmm. resurrected a nature right. in him. And without that nature, there would be no producing. That's right. That's right. You understand? Amen. So here you have. The morning, Satan exalt himself. Mm -hmm. Son of the morning. Son of the morning. Introducing a sinful nature. That's right. In man. That's right. Giving man the same character that he has. Amen. An exalted nature. That's right. Listen. How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? Regardless of how wicked you are, hmm. God have a way of bringing you down. Amen. God, television viewer and listeners, mm -hmm. and all that are here, if you believe that you are equal to God in any form. That's right. The Lord said, who is my equal, saith the Holy One. That's right. Then God himself. That's right. Will cut you down. Cut you down. Listen. For thou hast said in thine heart. This is what Satan said, and this is what he made people think. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. This is what we was listening to today. Amen. Same thing. That's what the Bible says, you're of your father, the devil. That's and right. And the devil's children have a tendency to act like their father. Amen. It is written what? I will ascend into heaven. I will I'm going to ascend? Into heaven. Into heaven. I will exalt my Listen throne. Listen at the Satan. Mm -hmm. The devil himself. Amen. He going to send into heaven, I will. I will exalt my exalt throne. Exalt my throne. Above the stars of above God. Above the stars of God. I Listen will. Listen at his confidence. Mm -hmm. Never, I think. No. Maybe I do this. No, no. I will. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Among the, con the mount of the congregation. In the sides of the In north. The sides of the north. I will. I will. Ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will. I will. Be like the most high. That's Marvin's desire. 
That's right. That's right. Innocent people Amen. become victims. This is what we've been preaching about on television and on radio. Men like this. That's right. That's right. I'm not moved by humble speech. Right. Amen. And a passive tone of voice. Amen. Amen. Satan talk passive. passive. That's right. Satan used passive speech to lure the simple. Amen. Because them that are ignorant of God already are searching for something. That's right. And when they're searching for something, Amen. they have become vulnerable. Yeah. They are easy prey Amen. for Satan. Mm -hmm. And then men like Marvin will pop up. Marvin. Oh, and help him. Talking passive. <laughs> That's right. You don't have to take <laughs> what I say. Lord, Lord. I'm not here to <laughs> mock you. Amen. See, that's the serpent working. That's right. That's right. See, that's the serpent. See, remember the nature of Satan. It is written he's called the old serpent and he's called the dragon. Mm -hmm. And it is written he's transformed into an angel of light. It is not that he is an angel of light. He's transformed. This is not real light. The sun that you see shine from the heavens is real light. This is transformed. That's right. Into light. into light, meaning this is artificial or hypocrite light. Amen. God, Amen, is real light. He's the light. That's right. All men that come on the scene. That's right. After God. After God. And if they're not out mm -hmm. because of God or by God's permission. Amen. There are men that are of false light. That's right. And when I examine your light, that's right, and see mm. who authorized it to shine, mm -hmm. if it isn't God, Amen. Then you and your light will go to hell. Go out. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. For the leaders of this people, the leaders, brothers and sisters, we are blessed people today. Oh yes. I don't look down upon the man, but mm. I see the need moreover mm. for the word of God to be preached Amen. without compromise. That's right. Because sincere people are dying. Amen. While men waste their time trying to be Christ, trying to be Jesus, trying to be Jeremiah, trying to be Isaiah, and can't be a good brother. Amen. Amen. You're trying to be everybody. Everybody. And don't even know yourself. That's true. That's true. It's sad. Yes, it is. Look at you. Hmm. Any of us can be in the same predicament. Amen. Any of us can be blinded in the same manner. Oh, but yes. thanks be to God. That's right. <laughs> it takes divine revelation to properly interpret mm -hmm. the principles of God. Amen. God must get in the mouth. That's right. Of the preacher. That's right. Purify his speech and then alter it. Amen. The purifying process is slow alteration of speech from uncleanliness to godliness. To godliness. That's right. The prophet Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 6. Follow me. And at verse 5. Listen. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone. I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips. It is good experience for you that are here, you that are watching in, to meet men like this. That's right. Because a lot of us is not able to appreciate truth until you run up on men like this, and then you understand the importance of truth. Amen. It's like a family that's used to having much. Mm -hmm. But 
father lose job, mother lose job, mm-hmm. and the children are spoiled by always having. Yeah. And when hard times come, yeah. they don't know how to adapt. That's right. But then when the hard time come and give you a good lesson. Oh yeah. And then when you get back on your feet, mm-hmm. you respect the hard time. Amen. You reverence that hard time. Amen. And you learn from the hard time. Oh yeah. Many of that son receiving in the truth, spoil. That's true. Take truth for granted. That's right. But the end of all things are at hand. That's right. This is just one that was here today. Just one. Mm. But Jesus said, many, many false prophets shall come mm-hmm. and shall deceive many, many of us. Amen. One time in our life were deceived. That's right. That's right. Lied to. Lied to. Mm-hmm. Gave our money to support some religion. Amen. And all we got in return was hype. That's right. Entertainment. That's all. Good sounding words and first speech and nothing from heaven. Amen. Good sounding words and fair speech. Mm-hmm. And want to use numbers and put a zero behind God and a two under God's feet. And That's a three thousand and all that religious crap. Amen. That's all it is. That's all when it is. When you talk about God, never mind threes and fours and fives. That's right. God is simply one. One God. Amen. And that's it. Amen. Nothing else. Amen. The brother said to understand God, you got to understand science. Science. To understand God, you need the spirit of God. That's right. That's what you need. It is written, the things of God, no man know but the spirit of God. That's right. That's why the spirit got to get in man. Amen. And acquaint man with the things of God. Right. Science is earthly. Science is carnal. Yes. But if you don't understand the spirit of God. Amen. That's why it is written, the body without the spirit is dead. Is dead. It's dead. Why you think it's in the scriptures how the holy men of God spake mm-hmm. and they was moved by the Holy Ghost, moved by God. Moved by, that's right. They wasn't trying to analyze science. No, no way. The prophets didn't waste their time studying the stars. No. They preached who created the stars. That's right. The prophets wasn't trying to study the moon. Mm-hmm. They preached who created the moon. That's right. They wasn't trying to study how the wind blow. Right. They preached who caused the wind to blow. That's right. That's right. That was God's interest. Amen. God wanted you to know I, the Lord, mm-hmm. do all these things. That's right. This is what God's interest was. To be sure you don't give nobody mm-hmm. like Yakub the credit Amen. for his creation. Amen. While we won't tolerate no religion, no. giving anybody no, no. credit mm-hmm. for what God done. That's right. God made the heavens. That's right. No man. No man. God made the earth. Mm-hmm. No man. Amen. God made the waters. Amen. No man. Amen. God made men and women. That's right. No man. No man. Amen. This earth that we breathe. That's right. Let's sit below you. Go to God. God that made the world. This earth mm. that rotates. That's right. Around the sun. Amen. It is, see, this is holiness. Yes. Brothers and sisters, if your religion mm-hmm. is confined to people, mm. your religion is no good. That's right. God religion. Mm ties in the universe amen holiness mean obedience that's right when that sun go down that's right that's holiness acting out its course amen when the moon shine at night amen holiness, holiness. is working that's right hallelujah glory to god that's right when the wind blows on the waters amen that's holiness, that's, holiness. that's right that's right 
not low. We don't need fractions. No. No. Our God is simply whole. That's all. That's right. We don't need to study mathematics. No, no. You need to learn who God is. Who God is. That's it. The religion of the nation of Islam mm -hmm. says God is simply a man. Mm. A man like them. Lord, born of a woman. Mm. Lord, 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 Lord. Mm. I would love to meet the woman who had the womb where God fell out of. That's right. That's right. God locked up in the womb. My Lord, my Lord. So I said, well, you preach Jesus Christ is God and Jesus fell from the womb. The flesh, flesh. fell from the womb. Mm -hmm. The prophet fell from the womb. Right. The Messiah fell from the womb. Right. But the highest didn't fall from the womb. That's right. Amen. That's why if you read the scriptures, the angel Gabriel said he shall be called the son of the highest. That's right. That means he is the servant of a power higher than himself. That's right. That's right. Jesus said, I do nothing. Of myself. And oh, listen. Amen. I do nothing. Nothing. Of myself. But as my father. But as the spirit. Has taught me. Have instructed me. I speak these I speak things. speak these things. Amen. Nothing. You false prophets. That's what they and are. And deceivers. That's what they are. And devil deceived liars. That's right. We don't pray to flesh. No. No, no. We pray to the spirit that made the world. That's right. We don't bow to flesh. That's right. When we fast, Amen. we're not fasting so flesh can do something for us. That's right. That's right. We don't come here and sing and pray Amen. and wish up flesh. No, no. Why would I wish up something that profit nothing? That's right. Flesh profit is nothing. Give me him. That's right. That was before Abraham. Amen. That's right. Come on, go and take off. That's right. Give me him. That's right. That was before Adam. Amen. Give me him. That was before Esau. Esau. That's right. That was before Cain. Amen. That was before Heba. That's right. And Phelan. Yes. And Rago. Amen. And Sarah. That's right. And Nahor. That's right. And Terah. Amen. Give me him. That was before all of them. All of them. That's right. That's right. Amen. Our religion. Amen. Is before man was. Before man. That's right. Anytime the Bible says according. As he has to chosen as us. God have chosen us. In him. In him. Before. Before. The foundation. Before. Mm -hmm. Before. The foundation of the of world. The world that God he should be holy was for us to be holy. be holy. For the foundation of the world? For the foundation of the world. Before the foundation. That's right. Before. Before it. Amen. Baptists, you can't say that. No, no. Mormons, you can't say that. No, the no. nation of Islam, you can't say it. I trace you back in the 1930s. Amen. You can't say it. No, no. For it all wasn't before the foundation of the world. No, it wasn't. But God was. That's right. That's right. Elijah Muhammad wasn't before the foundation of the world. No, no. God was. God was. Amen. Amen. Even that flesh, the Son of Man, mm -hmm. Jesus. Right. That fell from the womb. That's right. Who was guided by the Spirit. That's right. That flesh wasn't before the foundation of the world. No, no. No way. No, no. But the spirit, spirit that moved upon the face of the deep. That's right. That's our God. That's our God. That's right. That's right. Amen. The spirit that dropped the firmament in the midst of the waters. That's right. And gave the sea her decree. Amen. 
the spirit that caused the mountains to lift their nose towards heaven. That's right. And the sons of God shouted for shouted joy. For joy. Amen. The spirit that made the stars, Palladius, Orion, Orion. and Arcticus, and locked down Mazeroth in her season. That's and right. And the chambers of the south. Amen. That's our God. That's our God. Anybody God? Amen. Wonderful. I can find his birth date. Right. That's right. Your God is of hell. Amen. Are Amen. you listening? That's right. That's right. Our God never was born. Never was born. No, no. Our God wasn't created from no darkness. No, no. He ain't come from no darkness. That's right. He is light. He's light. Amen. That's why we're here today. That's right. By God's permission, God brought us here. Amen. Amen. Sincere people, victims, victims of blind leadership. That's right. Leaders that are good speakers, they use words good, mm -hmm. enticing words, enticing words, good sounding or moving body language. That's right. But no spirit. No spirit in it. They may say, folks say, well, true freedom. It's we not under the white man. <laughs> True freedom oh, yeah. is your knowledge of God. Amen. That's true freedom. That's right. Because the knowledge of God liberates your thinking. That's right. Liberates your heart. Mm -hmm. Liberates your mind, soul, body, and spirit. Amen. You religions Amen. that contradict God None of you are safe. No, no. As long as God's holy way is around. That's right. That's right. Call me what you want. Call me anything you like. Mm -hmm. One of the brothers from the FOI, he was hot when I walked in the building. My Lord. He was up there in the stage. Just he looking at hot. me. He was hot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and while the brother was talking from the mosque, mm -hmm. He kept prancing around yelling, mm -hmm. teach the reverend. Teach the reverend. All right, reverend, what about that? Yeah. What about that? That's right, reverend, mm -hmm. teach the reverend. Mm -hmm. That didn't bother me because this is true. This is truth. Amen. I often love that uh, scripture in the Quran that Muksaf often quotes to me, yeah. how we will hurl truth at them and knock out their brains. Amen. <laughs> Truth is different from anything. Yes, it is. For when you have truth, mm -hmm. that's God. That's right. The scripture teaches us hereby know we the spirit, spirit of, truth. of truth. If you got the spirit of truth and I have the spirit of truth, when we get into dialogue, if you got the same spirit I have and that spirit of truth, we got to agree. Got to agree. Amen. Got to agree. Amen. Why? The spirit Amen. works with the heart. That's right. And if the spirit of God is in you, Amen. I don't mean someone that quote the scriptures. No. I don't mean that someone quote the Bible, and that doesn't mean that someone that quote the Quran, and that doesn't mean that someone quote the Torah. That's right. I don't mean God is in you. Amen. The devil quote them. Amen. Yes, the devil preached from the Bible. Yes, he will. The devil preached from the Quran. That's right. And the devil preached from the Torah. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. It is with those books. Go ahead. Go ahead. The devil have blinded men and women and lied to them. Amen. That's what's happened. With those books of religion. That's true. Had damned thousands. That's true. We believe truth to be pure. Amen. We believe truth to be right. Mm -hmm. For we believe that truth is the only true representation of God. That's right. We don't want no fair speech and fool talk. Fool talk. Something that come not even out of left field. Amen. When it doesn't come from left field, it come from the unknown. That's right. That's where it's coming from. It come from the unknown. That's true. The oh. brother that left, old Marvin, he said, if, if you know, when we want to hear him again, and I don't. No. No. No, no. no, I don't want to hear that foolishness again. No. We're laboring to get people out of that kind of junk. That's right. 
That's right. We are not going to put people back under it. No. God has set us free with knowledge. Mm -hmm. We're not in bondage no more. Amen. My God, man, I was in bondage years ago mm -hmm. on some false church mm -hmm. being lied to. That's right. Being amused. Amen. Seeing folks shout and all that. Yeah. But none was coming from up here. That's right. Television viewers, mm -hmm. examine the churches you're going to. See what's coming from up here. Amen. Evaluate what's coming from that pulpit. That's right. See, is it of God? That's right. <clears throat> Someone said, well, he read from the Bible. That's the problem. A lot of men read from the Bible, but their sermon is in some other book. That's true. They got the Bible up here, mm -hmm. but they got their sermon all written out. Oh, yeah. If you are of God, mm -hmm. you don't have to write out no sermon and plan words. No, no. The Lord said, I will put my words in, in your mouth. In your mouth. That's all we look for Almighty God to do for us. That's right. Put his words That's right. in our mouth. In your mouth. And that our speech will never mm -hmm. be like the speech of men. Amen. See, the speech of men is carnal. Mm -hmm. It is wicked. It is perverse. Mm -hmm. Because they don't speak with the voice of the scriptures. No. They speak by their own opinion. That's right. And the devil give them strong nerves. Oh, yeah. yeah. Strong nerve. <laughs> He's head of all the prophets. All the prophets. He's head of Christ. My Lord, my Lord. He is Christ. Mm. He is the Messiah. Mm. He's head of all the prophets as if the prophets need him. Amen. Do you know each and every one of us God ain't got to have us. No, no. Understand it, people. That's right. It's nothing about you that's, right. that's so important. Mm -hmm. God got to have you. Who are you? Amen. He was God before we got here. That's right. And without God, where would we be? Where would we be? Mm -hmm. That's why I marvel how young men and young women, middle-aged and old, can walk the streets so arrogant mm -hmm. as if there is no God in the land. Amen. You cuss God. You blaspheme God. This man blasphemed God I don't know how many times. That's and the right. devil keep him cool. That's right. Give me the 30th chapter of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah, amen. Follow me in your scriptures. Isaiah chapter 30. And at verse 9, Listen. that this is a rebellious people. This is a rebellious people. Lying children. Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. This is the problem here in America and the world. Amen. Which say to the seers, see not. This is what they say to the preacher. See not. Oh, uh, don't you go seeing us. And don't go talking about God so much. Right. Can't you give us your own opinion? Mm-hmm. White man from a brown germ. Amen. Yeah, thank you. Seeing something from the X Files. <laughs> <laughs> Disneyland preaching. That's right. Goofy. That's what that is. Disneyland preaching. That's what it is. That's what it is. Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Goofy. Disneyland <laughs> preaching. Oh, yeah. That's all it is. Because what would I do if I marry a white woman? Mm -hmm. And like my wife, raise your hand, my wife. She, she says she's black. <laughs> <laughs> but if she was a white woman, mm -hmm. that doesn't make her less of a woman. That's right. But look at the teaching of the nation. If I married a white woman mm -hmm. and our children will be mixed mm -hmm. and if the black man is God by nature mm -hmm. and the white man is the devil by nature mm -hmm. what is my children what are the children amen are my children both devils and God my lord if so for God was both Satan 
and according to their teaching, God. That's right. Well, if God and the devil mm. coerced <laughs> a religion, mm. you know that religion got to be confused. That's right. Got to be. Listen. Which say to the seers, see not. See not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. That's what folk want. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gino, you hit too hard, man. Oh. Take it easy. Yeah. Folk is dying by the thousands. Amen. Religion has set back and took it easy for years. Oh, yeah. And just snowballed you for years. Mm hmm and all you did was went to church. Oh, it happens. Others of you went to church and joined some quartet group. Hey, Amen. Haven't learned nothing. Learn anything. That's right. The preachers wasted time and moan and grunt with the organ behind them like a monkey. Amen. You ever seen a, that fella grind that machine, a monkey jump around? That's right. That's the way the preachers do. That's right. They play the music mm. and he jumps around. Jumping around. No, oh, it happens. Church is nothing but entertainment. Amen. You know, my daughter said to me today, Sierra, and she's nine, I mm. believe. Mm. Eight, I think. <laughs> well, she one of them numbers. She said, you know, Daddy, mm. church is just like school. Mm -hmm. You go and learn, you take a break for lunch, and you come back and learn some more. I said, that's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Oh, we believe in singing in the worship of God. Mm -hmm. But if not one song is sung, yeah. let us be taught. That's right. If the choir don't hit a note, that's true. Let us be taught. That's right. If no one play no instruments, mm. let us be taught. That's it. That's it. Amen. Amen. It is a sad condition. That's just sad. That the world is in. That's right. Sad. Very sad. Oh yeah. And what makes it so bad, these newly come preachers mm. are making matters worse. Amen. They're not striving for the betterment and the improvement of God's people. No. But we're being pushed mm. and pushed further mm -hmm. into ignorance. Amen. And to darkness. Mm -hmm. And to stupidity. Amen. And what people are doing it from every ethnic group on the planet. That's right. Listen. Speak unto us smooth things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. So imagine that. Want me to prophesy and preach lies to the people. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the truth if you threaten my life. That's right. Because y'all one man went scared of threats. Amen. Ain't afraid of no one walking on this earth. Amen. Because I know God rule you. Yeah. And you can't get to me unless you get God permission. That's right. You can plot and plan mm -hmm. you that's in the nation you know is written in your Quran mm -hmm. that we plan Allah plan yeah. but Allah is the greater is the better of planners that's right no one that's right. can do anything, anything. Amen. without God's permission that's right now I have God's permission amen to declare God's word that's right I don't have God's permission mm -hmm. To give you a blessing plan. No. I don't have God permission. No, no. To tell you God got a miracle with your deceived name on it. Amen. I don't have God permission. Amen. To touch you with a fake healing plan. That's right. I don't have God permission. Mm -hmm. To make you have confidence and rabbit foots and rosary chains. Amen. I don't have God permission. Amen. To tell you to talk to Mary. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. God gave me permission preach the word. to preach the word. Preach the word. Preach it. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell them whether they like it or not. That's right. Preach, preach it. Preach it. Amen. That's it. I don't have God permission. That's it. To tell you he came from darkness. 
Amen. I have God permission Amen. to tell you he made the darkness. That's right. That's right. So religion, Amen. have fun while you can. Yeah. Hypocrite. My Lord. But show in. Oh, yeah. These fancy sounding apostles, mm -hmm. self made Jesus, Amen. Little Junior Muhammad's, that's right, that's little right. apartment dwelling Moses, Amen. Go ahead, go ahead. Have your fun. Have your fun. Keep playing with the lies of people, mm -hmm. keep playing religious tricks, Amen, and religious games with people. Mm -hmm. Just like God cut off the prophets of Baal, oh, yeah. he's going to cut you off. Cut you off. And cast you into the lake of fire. That's right. Where the beast and the false and prophet, the false prophet are. 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 Amen. The word of God is true. Remember what the scripture says in the ninth chapter of the prophet Isaiah. For the leaders of this people cause them to err. Leaders. Leaders. They're making people error from every area of religion. That's right. Every area of religion. Yeah. Had a Trinitarian. It's like everyone was trying to get them little cells in the spotlight. Amen. Amen. Fella think he can bribe me or make me feel good by giving me a, a rubber check. That's right. Now, who do you know going around giving out $100,000? $1,000. Certified. Certified. Amen. Go and buy me like I'm some male hoe. That's right. What's the matter with these people? That's right. Mm. Oh, yeah. They want to make little names for themselves. Mm -hmm. We're all about God here. Amen. Religion I want to play. Amen. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. That's right. Religion I want to play with God. Mm -hmm. You call me to preach for you, I'll preach. Mm -hmm. But we won't waste our time with you. No. God is life. That's right. That's God right. is everything. Amen. And you don't want to play church, mm -hmm. play religion, mm -hmm. and think I'm going to lighten up on you? Mm -hmm. God has sent me to chastise you. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. We don't want your money. Mm -hmm. We're not interested in your fame. No, no. A lot of folk feel his notoriety. Mm -hmm. Oh, the nation of Islam is here. It's just human beings. That's all. In darkness. In darkness. That they call light. That's right. And if that's light, I, know. I don't want no parts of it. Amen. The leaders of this people cause them to error and they that are led of they them that are led by these leaders are destroyed. That's what got my mouth so wide. That's right. Do you want to see your loved ones destroyed? Destroyed. No, no. Who in the world wants to see their loved ones destroyed? Amen. Turn your television on. What do you see? Nothing. That's right. International evangelists. That's right. Don't preach nothing. Nothing. Amen. Just look at them. Mm -hmm. Listeners, you don't like what I say, but you know I'm telling the truth. Yeah. Because after we go off, one come on after us, and one came on before us. Hello. And just compare the message. Mm -hmm. They beg you for money. That's right. That's what they do. They make you believe money is the key to success in God. That's right. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the key to success in God. Amen. Amen. It's a disgrace. Yes, it is. It is. Can you imagine mm. if God was to allow the prophets of old huh. to be resurrected from the dead mm -hmm. and walk the streets of America? My Lord. Remember, the prophets of old was able to take your life naturally. That's right. Take it a is. sword and kill you. Amen. While if the prophets of old was living mm. and walk the streets of America. Mm. They are walking 99% of all religious buildings. Amen. And kill everything that was up here trying to preach from God's word. That's right. 
Yes, they would. Those men represent God with fear. Yes, they did. Those men represent God with respect. Amen. Those men represent God with humility. Amen. You represent God today arrogant. That's right. Self will. That's right. Think you better than everybody else. Amen. Think everyone should look up to you more than they look up to God. That's right. Want everyone to bow to you. We bow to no man on the planet but God Himself. Amen. So I want to say to you of the nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. It's sad that you couldn't defend yeah. your belief. Amen. See, if I got a God in darkness, mm -hmm. I can't see his word. That's right. I don't want no God that came from darkness. Look at <laughs> the foolishness of this teaching. Think of this. Mm -hmm. You and I come from the wombs of our mothers. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the characteristics of mother and father is in us. Mm -hmm. So if darkness, if God comes from darkness, mm -hmm. wouldn't that make some darkness in God? In God, that's right. If you look at it from a scientific <laughs> that's right. perspective. That's right. That's right. If you use the common denominator one yeah. an underlying one with darkness mm -hmm. and use the next number under that to get God ah, foolishness that's foolishness if God came from darkness like we come from our mothers mm -hmm. then God shall have some darkness in him that's right. like we have the character of mother and father in us that's right and if you say to me well now you got it Mm. Now we got to dive back to the book. That's right. Listen at the scriptures. In 1 John chapter 1 and at verse 5. What is it? This then is the message. This is, is the, the message. message. Which we have heard which of him. we have heard of, of him. who? Of him. I was talking about of God. And declare unto you. We declare unto you. That God is light. That God Amen. is light. Is light. And and in him in him is no is no darkness darkness at all at all we are. amen amen none no darkness at all that's right god is light god is light and the god we serve right. there's no darkness in him at all no darkness. that's right absolutely the god we serve no darkness at all our god no darkness in him. No darkness. Our God mm. never was in the dark. That, that's right. Our God that's never right. came from the dark. That's right. If never. we say. Never. Never. Amen. Listen. If we say that we have fellowship. If we say we have fellowship. With him. With God. And walk in darkness. And walk in darkness. We lie. You're a liar. And do not the truth. And you don't do the truth. But. But. If we walk in the light. As what? As he is in the light. What do we have? We have fellowship one with another. Amen. Amen. We emphasize the television viewers. Believe mm -hmm. what's written. What's written. That's right. I don't care how sweet a man sounds. That's right. When he tell you, I don't have to give you no scripture. Right. And out of ignorance say, because the prophets didn't give you no scripture. Right. That's ignorant. That's God was using the prophets to write scripture. Write scripture. That's right. That's right. Even Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Refer Amen. To the prophets. To the prophets. Refer to scripture. That's right. The apostles came here. That's right. Refer to Jesus, Jesus and the prophets. That's right. Until Paul said, I told you no other thing. No other thing. But what Moses and the prophets, and the prophets did, say, did say should come. Should come. That's right. That's right. Amen. So these arrogant, self-righteous, know-nothing men. That's right. Know nothing. You become so arrogant, you can tell folk, mm. I don't have to. My Lord, help. 
give you no scripture. No scriptures. And the ignorant. That's right. That's right. We live by the scripture. By the scriptures. Amen. Amen. You can't teach me God law out of a comic book. No, no. You can't teach me God law out of some book you get from college. No way. God's law is in the scriptures. scriptures. That's right. Scripture says this. I will show thee that. Which is noted. Which is noted. In the scriptures. In the scriptures. Of truth. Of truth. That's right. We believe what's written. Believe what's written. We are hurled what's written in anybody's head. That's right. We believe. That's right. What's written. The reason why we declare our religion to be holy is written. It's written. We don't call it nothing else. Amen. Amen. We don't call ourselves Baptists and Christianity. No. And Methodist and Lutheran, Episcopalian. No. And Mormon. We don't call ourselves that None stuff. None of that. None of that. We believe what's written. The Bible says right. holiness, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. No man shall see the Lord. No man. Amen. I don't want nothing else. That's right. If God is holy, let me be what he, he is. He is. Amen. Amen. If God is holy, I don't want to be less than that. That's I right. want to be that. That's right. Who can better teach me to be that than his word? Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters. And visitors, mm -hmm. and you that are watching and listening, I don't care what religious meeting you go to, if that man can back up his talk with the scriptures and will tell you he don't have to give you none, mm. get out of there. Get out of there. That's right. Leave it. That's right. That's right. Close the door behind you. Amen. When Amen. they tell you that, tell them. Alhamdulillah. That's Get right. going. Get going. Amen. They Amen. tell you that in the church? Peace be. Peace be. That's right. Get going. That's right. Get out of there. Satan have used religion. Mm -hmm. Satan have used religion mm -hmm. as an art to blind them who are ignorant of God. That's right. And when you are ignorant, are you listening? Of God. Amen. Then religion sounds good. That's right. It's like you can go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You know, how the fuck want to be fancy? Go to a French restaurant. <laughs> Get that menu. Mm -hmm. I'll take some sukata, some perfume. Some flemetar kumasun and shambak. See, you see, all you ask for uh, was some water and a few cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it gave it a yeah. fancy name. Yes. But then it come marching out with some spaghetti and meatballs. That's right. That's right. You know, uh, uh, orange soda. He <laughs> bet. But you thought you, oh man, you thought you were just getting it on. You, a woman just, just fascinated. I, 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 I order for you. I order for you. Right. I, yeah. I take some chocolate uh, and martini. He don't know what it is. Know what it is? I order uh, some ex cargots. I order some uh, flak mac man. Uh, some filet mac mou and some moo. <laughs> All right, he come back. Right. Spaghetti and meatballs. That's right. Ginger ale. Amen. Apple pie when I drop a vanilla ice cream. Right. That's it. That's it. And, but it sounds good. Yeah. Uh, when it was read. Mm hmm Fair speech to the ignorant. That's right. Is designed in the mouths of deceivers. That's right. To lure you into darkness. Into darkness. Because they don't know. You cannot yet recognize the sound of God. That's right. So if I don't know how God sounds, mm -hmm. then any type of sound... Pastor Gino Jennings is coming to your area to preach the word of God. The address and service times are now on the screen. We hope to see you there.
and keep watching the Truth of God television program for more information on other upcoming events. You have been watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program with the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. Both the church's street and email address as well as the phone number are now on the screen. Feel free to write or call us. And don't forget our Philadelphia radio broadcast every Sunday night from 9.30 to 10.30 p.m. on WTMR 800 on the AM dial. Peace be unto all. The proceeding was a paid program brought to you by the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles' Faith. The opinions expressed were solely those of the sponsor.